The Thrustmaster T248 is one of the most popular sim racing wheels around. It's a racing wheel which is accessible, compatible with both Xbox and PS5, and it's incredibly well priced. And I can imagine due to those reasons, a lot of gamers will be using the T248 in Forza Motorsport. So in this video, I'm going to run through my best force feedback settings for the Thrustmaster T248 in Forza Motorsport. Before I jump into the detailed force feedback settings, I'm first going to show you one of the more important settings to change to get a more realistic racing feel. And that's in the driving assist menu. And there's a setting for the steering. Make sure before you do anything that you set this to simulation. This will change the core force feedback experience with a wheel and turning it on adds a lot more weight and usable feedback from our Thrustmaster wheel. Now once you've set that to simulation, choose whichever other driving assist you fancy and head over to the advanced input settings. All of the settings in the advanced input settings screen will have an effect on how your racing wheel feels. They'll change elements such as damping, vibrations and more. And this is where we can really fine tune our wheel. Starting with the dead zones, I always set these to zero on the inside and 100 on the outside. This will open up the range of your pedals and your wheel rotation, and you should only really be increasing or decreasing these settings if you're registering some input when you're not touching the wheels or pedals, or if you can't reach 100% input on anything. It's important to have the steering inside dead zone especially set to zero. Setting this just to one or two points will add a really big dead zone at the center of your wheel where if you rotate your steering wheel, there'll be no input registered. Moving on to the other settings, I've gone for 40 on the vibration scale and 100 on the force feedback setting. The T248 really needs the force feedback set to around 100, and this controls the overall strength of the force feedback. Less powerful wheels such as the T150 or T128 may require this setting to be a bit higher. And wheels such as the more powerful T818 and T300 can set this a touch lower. Now, the steering self-alignment and the two trail scale settings are probably the most important settings in the whole game if you're racing with a wheel. By default, these settings will make your wheel feel incredibly light mid-corner. This, I think, is designed to emphasize the sensation of a loss of grip while understeering, what it actually does is it just causes your car to feel very snappy and incredibly hard to drive consistently. With my settings of 85, 150 and 45, the car feels much more realistic and predictable, which is exactly what we want when we're pushing hard. For the road feel scale, I've gone with 120 and this will give some vibration and sensation of track surface details. You can lower this setting if the force feedback feels a bit too noisy though. I've then gone with 50 on the load sensitivity, 70 on the wheel damper, and 50 on the centering force, and also 40 on the dynamic damper. If your wheel feels too light and sensitive, you can increase the wheel damper above 70, but try not to increase it too much as it can cause your wheel to feel kind of heavy and just a bit dull and slow. Finally, ensure that your steering sensitivity and linearity are both set to 50 for a true one-to-one -one linear wheel setup. Now there are some Thrustmaster settings that can be changed in the control panel as well. The important ones here are the rotation and the strength setting. You should set the rotation to whatever you want your steering rotation to be. 900 is good for most cars and a good default to go with. For the strength, go with around 75%. This is very similar to the force feedback setting in Forza, where it controls your overall strength of forces. Then I'd recommend leaving all other settings to 100%. Now the default racing wheel settings in Forza Motorsport are pretty bad. However, with these quick tweaks, your Thrustmaster T248 can feel much better and will feel much more realistic. Let me know in the comments below what settings you're running and whether you like these settings. And as always, with all of these setup videos or settings videos, you can tailor them a little bit more to your personal preference. Just think of this as a kind of good baseline which will get your wheel feeling pretty good and better than default and then tinker it a little bit from there to get your own personal preference. If you found these settings helpful, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more sim racing and Forza content. But for now guys, I will see you on track.